Brothers and sisters, we gather together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are right now, whatever you're going through this moment, the Lord is with you. The presence of God is all that we need to remember and experience so we can be strong in whatever we are going through in life. We bow our heads in humility. Thank God. Thank God for the gift of life. We're still alive. And thank God for the gift of eternal life for those who have gone ahead of us. Let us look into our hearts. Let us ask for forgiveness from God for the many times we did not really follow Him. We did not deny ourselves. Instead, we are selfish, we are proud, and disobedient. And so we pray, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Brothers and sisters, Many of us are going through difficulties, but still we count our blessings. And so today, again, we say glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to his people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, all God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, I have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheek to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I should not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. 
who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord because He has heard me, my voice in supplication, because He has inclined His ear to me the day I call. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The cords of death encompassed me, the snares of the netherworld seized upon me. I fell into distress and sorrow, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low, and he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but not does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well. But you did not give them the necessities of the body. What good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, You have faith, and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked his disciples this question, Who do people say that I am? They replied, Some John the baptizer, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets, and you, he went on to ask, Who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. Then he strictly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man had to suffer much, be rejected by the elders, 
the chief priests and the scribes be put to death and rise three days later he said this quite openly Peter then took him aside and began to remonstrate with him and this he turned around and eyeing the disciples we reminded Peter in return get out of my sight you Satan you are not judging by God's standards but by man's he summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them if a man wishes to come after me he must deny his very self take up his cross and follow in my steps whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart and that the people who listen, listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, September Malapit na magtapos ang 2021. It's close already. At siguro, speaking of close, lahat tayo ang tinatanong natin, Lord, kailan kaya matatapos ito? Kailan kaya magkakaroon ng closure itong pandemic na ito? We're looking forward to that with hope. We keep saying, Lord, in your time, but we really hope malapit na, di ba? Closure. You know, that's a nice word, closure. Mayroon po nagsabi, Closure? Close ba tayo? Are you sure? Closure. Ito po ang napakagandang tanong ni Lord sa atin ngayong umaga. Close ba tayo? Are you sure? Akala natin, close na tayo. Bakanin man in sure, di ba? So today, let's come before the Lord and say, Lord, speak to us. Tell me what I need to hear. Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng closure? Well, the simple re- tanong ng Lord sa iyo ngayon is, Am I close to you? Are you close to me? Kailangan pa bang inak-nak yan? Nak-nak. Who's there? Closure. Closure who? Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. But that song is saying, Sigurado ako eh. I'm sure. I'll be sending all my love to you. On the part of the Lord, sure yan. On our part, yan ang hindi sure. Paano natin gawing sure? I-check natin. Kwentas claras. We can find out if we can really say, close ako kay Lord. Tignan natin. Okay. Paano po natin titignan? Kwentas claras, kailangan siguro ng calculator. O, oh, yun. Kalkulado. So, tignan nga natin talaga kung masasabi mong close ka. Close tayo kay Lord. Number one, do you have a 
relationship with the Lord. Okay, check mo nga. Is there an ongoing relationship with God? Or baka si Lord lang, okay, on the side, sige na sa umaga, tapusin na natin yan. But the rest of the day, it's all about me. Maybe bago matulog, o siguro magkasakit na ako, yun, maalala ko ulit siya. I don't think that's a relationship. It means kulang pa. Many of us are so focused on our own journey. But please remember, may relationship ka kay Lord kung yung journey to His heart is already something very clear in you. If at this point, ang sigurado lang sa iyo ay yung journey mo, financial journey, career journey, political journey, whatever it is, Wow, many of you have come a long way, baby. You've come a long way, pero baka, pakita no mo nga, baka you're still a long way from the heart of God. Ang layo na nang narating mo, wow. Pero baka ang layo mo pa sa puso ng Diyos. Ang taas na ng lipad mo, high altitude, but you still have many bad attitudes. And if you can say, my appointment with God every day is the most important appointment. If you can say that, then you have a relationship. Close ba tayo? Are you sure? Ask yourself today. The Lord asks you today, all of us. Number two, please remember, itong journey to God's heart, by the way, is non-transferable. You yourself have to make the journey. Huwag mong sabihin, o mga anak, magdasal kayo ha? Ako, hindi, kayo lang. Kayo magsimba. O, sila lang yan, yung mga... You have to walk the earth. Marami sa atin, we are just in our tree. Our tree of comfort. Nalari nyo nung bata po tayo, yung mga punong kahoy na yan. Tree of Comfort, kasi ang daming akyat ka, ang dami kang makakain ng mga prutas. Not only that, trees for us when we were young was our tree of refuge. Pag hinahabol ka na ng mga aso, akyat na kayo sa kahoy, and you are safe. That's when we were young. Ang dami po mga tao, tumanda na, nandun pa rin sila sa tree of comfort with their wealth, with the tree of comfort, of a tree of refuge looking at the whole world passing by come down walk because if you don't come down from your tree of refuge and comfort you cannot experience encounter Christ who is on the road ah, kapatid, check that please non-transferable number two it's non-negotiable Ino pwede yung sabihin na, oh, saka na lang, Lord. Baka dumating ang panahon na wala na. Dead end ka na, makikinegotiate ka pa. You have to work on it now. And mayroon pong expiry date ito pong journey to God's heart. The journey to God's heart ends when you die. When I die. That's it. But after that death, mayroon na po yung yung uh, final judgment for you. And that judgment, the final accounting, will determine where you will spend the rest of your life for all eternity. In the embrace of our loving God or in the torture of the evil one for life, for all eternity. So my expiry date po. So don't postpone this relationship, this journey to God's heart. Number two po, yung kalkulihin calcula- calcula- po natin. Who am I to you? Sino ba ako para sa'yo? Pakitanong mo nga, o oh, Eugene, sino ba ako para sa'yo? Yeah. Conrad, sino ba ako? Who am I to you? Siguro, mas malaki yung impact kung i-fast forward natin. Nasa harapan ka na ni Lord. Tatanungin ka ni Lord, Eugene, noong buhay ka pa, 
Who was I to you? Sino ako sa iyo noon? And that can be calculated. For example, the Bini Lord sa iyo, I gave you in your life, lahat po tayo, we are all given our time, talent, treasures. Number one, time. Nung buhay ka pa, how much time did you spend with me? How much time did you pray every day? Pwedeng makalkula yan, ha? Mm, 30 minutes siguro, Lord. How much time did you spend watching television, going to your computer? Claro. How much time did you spend talking with people, nagchichismis, kung ano-ano lang? Claro. Pwede pong kwentas claras. So when you say, Lord, you mean something to me, let's talk about your time. Ganun din po ang pagmamahal. Pag sabihin, mahal mo yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, pero wala ka naman time sa kanila. You don't even listen to them. You are not present to them. You have all the presents, mga regalo. But don't you know, ang pinakamagandang regalo yung presence mo. So please check yourself today. Time. Your time with God. Prayer. Number two, talents. Wow, ang dami kang talents. Marami sa atin, magaling magsalita, magaling kung ano-ano. What? Okay, saan mo ginamit yung talent na yan? How much of those talents were spent just for you? For your progress, for your lot. It's all about you. Fine. But ang tanong siguro ni Lord, nung buhay ka pa, did you use your talents for me? Did you give your talents, skills, whatever, profession, to help yung mga mahihirap? Kwentas claras po. Makukuha po sa calculator mo yan. Number three, eto na, treasures. You're talking of your material treasures. Hmm. How much money do you have? You know, somebody said, we know, you know, how much money you have. But what you and I don't know is how much time we still have. So baka pagdating sa final accounting sa heaven eh. Sabi ni Lord, two questions. Only two questions sa customs at the gate of heaven. Number one, oh, wow, you had 10 million nung buhay ka pa. Question, is this good money or dirty money? Right away, your money can save you if you say, Lord, pinaghirapan ko po yan. Good. Pero, ninakaw, kinurako, may pinatay. That's for your condemnation. Res ipsa lukitor. The evidence will speak for itself. So, mga kapatid, for those who think that it's normal na magnakaw na lang, cheat, lie, it's not normal. And those who do so will be answerable. Lalong-lalo na po kung ang ninanakawan yung mga mahihirap na walang-wala na, especially this time. Please take note of that. So, second question is, 10 million? How much did you share? Nagbahagi ka ba? Klaro. Sa mga kapatid, calculator, close ba tayo? How are you using your time, your talent, and your treasure? And third, ask ourselves today, sabi ni Lord si ngayon, deny yourself, take up your cross daily, and follow me. When you come face to face with God, you must say, Lord, 
I carried my cross. I followed you. O, teka muna. Baka ibang tinafollow mo. Follow ka ng follow kung sino-sino sa Facebook. Ginagawang idol mo yung isang politiko o whatever na makapangyarihan mayaman. You follow the Lord. That's all. That's the bottom line. Mga kapatid, we follow the Lord no matter what. Follow me. Daily. Araw-araw. Day by day. One day at a time. And anong na-deny mo? Anong ginib up mo? Yun. Maybe when you're face to face with God, masabi mo, Lord, alam po nyo, I gave up this bad habit, this bad attitude, because of you. Pinatawad ko po yung talagang hindi ko mapatawad na yun because of you. You see, this is the point if you really have a relationship with God. Or you can say, yeah, I did something mahirap because of you, Lord. Sana po mayroon tayong masasabing ganun. Went out of our way to this God who loved us so much. Sana po that encounter with the Lord, well, that's the final exams. Sana po mapasa natin. I would like us also to remember today that what did we do to spread the gospel, the good news? Mayroon ka bang ginawa, mayroon ka ginagawa to make God known, makilala si Lord ng ibang tao. Maipaalala mo sa ibang tao itong gusto sabihin ni Lord. Oh my goodness, we are all missionaries. We are all part of the team to tell the world of His love. May I today salute yung mga katikista. Catechist Sunday. My gosh, I remember as a missionary, you go to the remotest ba- barrios noon, ang naganda ng lahat, misa, mga tao, catechists. Sasamahan ka pa nila. Thank you very much po, mga katechista. And those really who are living the gospel today, frontliners, health workers, Essential workers, thank you for making the love of God so clear and present in our midst. Kung wala kayo, wala na po kaming lahat. Thank you very much po. Yan po. So in short now, mga kapatid, mayroon pong tatlong bagay the church would like to remind us. Pakicheck po natin ang buhay natin. Close ba tayo? Are you sure? Para po ma-sure, the three things marks of a Christian. Number one, koinonia. Koinonia from the Greek word community, unity. Prayer life. Meron ka bang prayer life? Very clear. Without prayer, you can do everything, all the works, all that, but without faith, it's nothing. So check that piece. Huwag mong sabihin na, I'm always working for the Lord. But you don't have a time with the Lord? It's a big question mark. Koinonia. Number two, diakonia. Service, apostolate, outreach, whatever you call it. Is it there in your life? Mayroon ka bang tinutulungan? Mayroon ka bang mga... Sinasamahan. Mga kapatid, works. Work for the Lord, with the Lord. And number three, kerigma. Kerigma means proclamation, evangelization, spreading the gospel, the love of God. These are the three marks of a true Christian. You have koinonia, a relationship with God, a community, you are in a community of people. Number two, diakonia, service, outreach. And number three, kerigma. Yung kinakalat mo ang magandang 
balita. Dear brothers and sisters, please don't forget the Lord says, take up your cross daily and follow me. Ang dami pong cross, no? May red cross, green cross, mayroon pang mga double cross. <laughs> Whatever. Isa pong huwag natin kakalimutan. September 14, Triumph of the Cross. Mag- magwawagi rin mga taong naghihirap, nagbubuhat ng cross. But one question is this, please. Are you the cross of other people? Baka naman ikaw ang cross. Kaya humihirap ang buhay ng ibang tao. Anulungkot sila dahil sa iyo. Don't be a cross. You can say anything about your cross, but please don't be a cross to other people. And September 15, ah, Another reminder for all of us. Our Lady of Sorrows. Nuestra Señora de Dolores. Sorrows. Naalala ko yung isang sab- magkaibigan. Mag-asawa ba yun? Sabi niya, Oh, how are you? Well, how are your sorrows? Okay lang. Tapos sinabi niya, Alam mo, ang, ikaw ang, ang pangalan mo ba, Dacos? I call you Dacos. Bakit naman? You are Dacos of my sorrows. Ikaw ang dahilan. Huwag naman po sana. Mga kapatid, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Check your heart, please. Close ba tayo? Are you sure? Closure. Yeah. Kalkulado po. Quintas claras. Today, we come to the Lord. This is me, Lord. Speak to me. Yung mga dapat ko pong malaman, dapat ko pong baguhin, I am here. Don't presume that you're okay with the Lord. Maybe you ask Him, Lord, ano pa po ang kailangan kong malaman. What more do I need to learn from you? Especially about true love and true humility. Like our dear, blessed mother, Mama Mary. Closure. So now, we stand and we profess our faith and pray, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us man and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In prayer of the faithful, we now turn to our gracious Father, that He may deepen our faith 
and strengthen our hope as we acknowledge his son, Jesus, as our Messiah, with hearts full of confidence, we pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the Church, may they continue to be living witnesses of Christ amidst all hardships and pastoral concerns. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government officials, may they acknowledge Jesus as their model and inspiration that they may render honest administration and safeguard the dignity and rights of all. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all catechists, may they continue to dedicate their lives to the mission of Christ as teachers and witnesses. We lift to you all their hopes and needs. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For the sick, the marginalized, victims of violence and injustice, and those persecuted because of their faith, may they acknowledge Christ as their sure hope and support as they go through present times. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all the faithful departed, may they enjoy peace and happiness in the presence of the living God. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Sisters and brothers, close your, close your eyes and whisper to the Lord again your personal thanksgiving, your personal love. Maybe you're, you're sorry and your personal request personal intentions and our collective prayer that this pandemic will end soon and also our sincere prayer Lord help me to know you more help me to follow you more and help me to love you and serve you more and my brothers and my sisters to the intercession of mama mary through christ our lord amen amen
Let your brothers and sisters pray that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to you, to the honor of your name, may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to give thanks to you, O Lord, to your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So, with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are this moment, whatever you're going through right now, Welcome the Lord in your heart, in your midst, in your homes, wherever you are. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, O Nestor, Bishop, the clergy, missionaries, religious all over the world. Remember to Lord, our departed relatives and friends. And all have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for victims of COVID-19. Pray for frontliners, health workers, essential workers, and all those who sacrifice their lives for others. 
Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, somebody said, if you feel far from God, who moved? Kung feeling mo malayo ka sa Diyos, sinong umatras? Tayo lang po. God's love remains constant. Always loving us. So now, with all our questions, sometimes doubt siguro, let's just go BTS. Believe. You trust. Surrender everything to God, our loving Father. Lord, deliver us from all evil and grant us peace. Keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us that peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever Amen. and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Close batayo. Are you sure? Close sure. Will you please, to all the people around you now, Give that sign of peace, assurance of love and peace to one another. Peace be with you all, and God bless you all. Saranghe, kamsahamnida. All will be well, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, bow your heads. The Lord Jesus is with you, blessing you this very moment, wherever you are. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart moment with the Lord. Lord. Thank you. Salamat po. Lord, sorry. Patawad po. Lord, help us. Patulong po. We need you. Stay with us, Lord. 
please help us. You are our strength, our hope, our peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let the Word of God heal you wherever you are and whatever you're going through. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. I am your strength, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. And the Lord tells us again, I have plans for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and the Lord tells us again I hear you this is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us I will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. I will give you peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John chapter 14, verse 27. And the Lord tells us again, I will always love you. 
you, Lord, are forgiving and abounding in love to all who call to you. Psalm 86, verse 5. Thank you, God, for being really close to us. We are sure you are close to us. Help us to know you more. Help us to follow you more. Help us to love and serve you more than our brothers and sisters. Amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the working of the seventy gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads in prayer. I am with you always. And in all ways. Let us then receive the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended, but this is not a closure. The Mass now begins when you go back to your realities to bring the love of God wherever you go, whatever you do. Thanks be, Thanks be to, to God. God. Amen. <clears throat> to the Lord and exalt His name. Give thanks to the Lord, let us sing songs of praise. Shout with one voice and proclaim His words. Give thanks to the Lord all our days. Sing We have a little harana for everyone. Kahit papano, we feel the presence, the love, the joy of the Lord by songs. Please join. And uh, let this be also a family. Family activity. sing and it's about getting to know the Lord more 